Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic is mock interview three on VF page. Okay, let's take a scenario based here. So the first scenario is, is I have all required fields to be populated on a vegetable force page. For example, HRA basic DA. And it has these fields, these required fields should be populated whenever I give an employee number in the search box and click on search button is a command button. Then <clears throat> whenever you click on a command button, what it what is going to happen? It sends complete form or it submits complete form. Then it asks you to fill required fields because all required fields should be filled when you click on submit because it is going to submit complete form. But still I want to have the result of employee number for HRA basic DA when I click on search button. How can you solve it? What is your answer? Just think. It will give you a few seconds. Okay. Let's have answer. So for this, what you have to do is you have to limit the action for that search box and command button. You should not submit complete form. You should limit your action to submit button or other search button that is command button and search box. Then you have to get the data based on the employee number and you have to populate on HRA basic DA required fields on visual codes. Right? For this, you have the option is you have to include the search box and command button in between action region. Then it will limit your action to that area and then it can give you the result. This is how you can solve this problem. Okay, it avoids submitting total form and it hits the or it sends the request to the server by taking the action of that particular region. Okay, good. Now, another question. <clears throat> How can you provide a pagination, pagination on visual force page? And what is the need of pagination on visual force page? First thing is, let's talk about what is the need of visual force page. For example, if you have multiple uh, rows on a visual force page to be displayed, then user or client can't see by going through scrolling down scrolling down to see your results instead if you provide the pagination by using next first buttons by providing this next first buttons then they can easily go through the page by page that means you are going to divide your total page total records into different pages still you are showing the records instead of having big scroll bar okay and how can we provide that kind of pagination on visual force page in salesforce by using we have different ways one is standard set controller another one is offset another one is custom pagination that means you can write your own logic for providing the pagination on visual force page and you can use other libraries also javascript libraries on visual force page to provide the pagination Okay, this way you can provide the pagination on visual force page. First thing is, what is pagination? You should know the concept. That is, by dividing your records into different pages. Okay, dividing your records into different pages is called a pagination. Okay, what is the purpose? Whenever you have multiple records to be displayed on the visual force page, instead of displaying everything on the same page, you are dividing the records into 20 pages per page or 20 records per pages per page or 30 records per page like that you can have different pages by providing next first and last buttons and what is the purpose of read-only attribute of visual force page okay the thing is 
basically you can retrieve 50000 rows in a in a transaction okay through an sop algorithm then for example if you have a <coughs> multiple sop uh, sop queries or otherwise if you have multiple objects to be queried then it combines everything together 50000 rows okay it is not the case that you can retrieve account records 50000 records and another contact record 50000 rows not like that it took it that it counts together then if you want to display more than 50000 rows or if you want to query more than 50000 rows in a visual for space read only attribute will be used for it relax that uh, it gives you or um, it gives you more ability to query more records up to 1 million rows you can you can query in the visual for space where you define read only attribute as true okay and basically if you are not specifying read only your list or your collection holds 1000 records but it increases 10000 row 10000 records per data list data table this for this kind of repeaters when you use read only but there is one limitation when you use read only attribute the limitation is you can't apply dml operations on a page where you define read only as a true dml operations means you can't perform insert or update or delete operations on the visual for page where you defined a visual for page as read only true okay so this is the this is about read only and pagination and display our um, query and populate the required fields on the visual for page how we can limit the action to only search box and the command button instead of submitting complete form by using action reason okay all the rest